Good afternoon, I'm Alicia Smith and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Detroit police are searching for a man who tried to firebomb a house. They say on Halloween night he walked over to a home on Mark Twain Street near Seven Mile and threw a Molotov cocktail at that home, shattering the front window. And this was not his first attempt. He tried three times. Detroit police investigators say they don't know why he did this. Pfizer has announced a potential game changer in the fight against the coronavirus. This morning, the drug maker reported promising results on a pill-based treatment. It's called Pavlovid. In experimental trials, Pfizer says that the series of pills was started within three days of developing symptoms and ended up reducing the risk of being hospitalized or dying from COVID-19 by 89%. The results were so promising, the Independent Review Board recommended ending enrollment from the trial early. Pfizer says that it plans on sharing its data with the FDA as soon as possible. Children ages 5 to 11 in the city of Detroit can start getting the COVID-19 pediatric vaccine on Monday. Mayor Mike Duggan made that announcement this morning. The pediatric version of Pfizer's vaccine will be offered at the Detroit Health Department, the Northwest Activity Center, and eventually at school events in Detroit. The city of Detroit is also implementing new safety protocols for the pediatric doses. The doses are stored separately from the adult doses in clearly labeled and color-coded vials. Staff members are also using syringes specifically made for use with children. So well, temperatures today a little bit milder than yesterday. We'll keep sunshine and dry weather through the weekend, but we are going to warm up to temperatures in the low 50s tomorrow, pushing 60 by Sunday and Monday, and then we'll focus our attention on the chance for rain by the end of next week.